the ones we're gonna drink later are, okay? Now I have done uh, margaritas and martinis and such in the past, but I thought it'd be really fun to do again. Thank you, Becky. And I think that uh, tomorrow we may do uh, another alcoholic drink. Maybe we'll do another margarita, just maybe a grapefruit or a, who knows, strawberry. We'll do uh, something fun along with this same theme tomorrow. Sheet glass breaking challenge. Oh no. Well, you know what? It takes practice, Julie. Don't beat yourself up. It does take practice. Nobody is great on the start, okay? So don't beat yourself up too much because I have been there, done that. So I'm gonna just trace my glass and then I'm gonna show you how I actually filmed myself cutting my margarita glass. And if you're a member of the Shattered Circle, and I am gonna post that in that group, so you can kind of get an idea of how my brain works when I'm doing this stuff. I'm not saying that I did it all the right way, but I did it the Cindy way, and uh, that's just how Cindy's brain works, so. I'm retracing this so that I can actually see it and that y'all can see it as we are working. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna make sure, this is literally, this little piece of glass here, is literally the top of a vase. So I had a vase that I was breaking for a piece of art, just a little votive, and it had this fat edge at the top, and it literally broke off perfectly. So I'm gonna use this for my uh, lime that goes on the edge of the vase, or the vase, Lord have mercy, the glass but I may have to wait till I get painted so I can do it exactly uh, the right size. So I don't wanna get ahead of myself. So we'll wait and get that. I need, you know what I think I'm gonna do? Since it broke into three pieces, I'm gonna see if while we're painting, we can get this to stick together. Oh, not using that glue or not. Never been opened. I'm gonna just see if I can't glue it together and maybe it'll be easier to deal with. Let me just do this real quick and then I'll push it aside. Hopefully it'll dry nicely and it'll be easier to handle. Let's see. All right, now let's push that up there. Woo! out of the way and let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is work on our background. I didn't even pre-plan what we're gonna do on the background. So I'm just going to come up with something, all right? So first, but before we do that, I wanna show you kind of, there's my pre-sketch on a post-it note, y'all. That's how crazy I am, all right? That's my sketch for the day. All right, so here is how I, um, cut my glass. So I literally sketched this on a piece of paper. I laid my glass out. I used my marker to trace my pattern and I did it in sections. One section, two sections, three sections, four sections. All right, so I traced it with my marker and then I used my scoring tool to just break the pieces one at a time. It's a really easier to do that with when you have curved pieces. And if you're in the uh, Shattered Circle, I will post that video in there. So not perfect by any stretch, but that is the top of my glass. And again, not perfect by any stretch. This is the little bottom piece. And then we have a little bit of a stem going on here. And the little bottom of our glass. We're gonna have that lime that's gonna go on the glass, and then we're gonna have a little lime down here at the bottom as well. So we're gonna scooch this over, probably about a half inch from the edge, and then we are going to do some painting real quick. What do you think about that? What do you think? Love it? I could use a real one or three. <laughs> that makes me sound like an alcoholic. Okay, so we are gonna start 
with our um, background. And I'm just gonna make a little notch here and say about right here is where we're gonna separate, like where the table kind of is. So let's paint ourselves a background. I'm gonna start with white because that's just what I always do. I probably shouldn't, but here we go. Me, me. I probably shouldn't because, you know, I just do white so much. I'm gonna move this just a little to make sure you guys have the whole canvas in view. Let's see. Oh, I went too far, didn't I? Let's go back a little. Let me get it situated. Give me one second. There we go. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna start by just putting some white on my canvas, and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do next. I've got five or 10 paint colors in front of me, so I'll, I'm gonna use one of those since they're in front of me, but let me, let me see. I'm probably gonna, let's use this blue. Y'all know I love me some blue. Right, I'm gonna grab a brush. Grab a brush, grab a brush. I'm gonna get this white just brushed on my entire canvas. And look at that, look at that big old nasty thing. Ugh. So we're gonna cover the entire canvas with white. Then I may do my the little circles of fun. I haven't done that since, well, in a minute. Let me get that off. That white needs to go in the garbage. Thank you for the sprinkles. Hey, Judy, how's Tommy? So, I'm gonna get this on, and oh, let's get it on the canvas, Cindy, not your table. And then I'm gonna grab this yucky stuff that seems to be everywhere. Definitely need to get a different brand of white because this one, Seems to get icky really quickly. Icky quickly. All right, so let's get that. So while this is wet, I, I'm gonna use my brush. It still has white in it. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, can y'all hear me? Somebody said lost sound, but I'm plugged in. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm plugged in. Not sure why there's no sound. Can anyone hear me? Hand signs, sound, any sound, no sound? No sound? Huh. Oh, I don't know why there's no sound. Thank you, Deanna. Becky can hear me. Sounds good. Denise can hear me. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Go out and come back in, good. It's probably my silly internet because uh, I've been having that problem. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to do the challenge at my house because um, I've been having a little issue. I'm gonna get, I'm actually gonna put this on my palette. Let me put these away. I'm gonna put this on my palette because I'm gonna have a little more control Everybody can hear me now? All right, so I'm going to go, this is, by the way, tropical blue. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that on my brush, just a smidgy, and I'm gonna start on the outside, and I am gonna make a circle. So it's darker Ugh. on the outside. And then, I'm gonna get a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Just make a few little streaks. And then down here at the bottom, I'm gonna get a little bit of that and just give myself a little table space, all right? A little table space. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna rinse this off I'm gonna get a little bit of white. Yay, Susan! Susan is ready to go. 
get a little bit of white and I'm just gonna hit that middle with my white just a little more. Well, I need a little more than that. Need more than a minuscule. I want the center of it to be lighter. I'm just futzing, y'all. Just futzing around. Dillion and dallion. All right, I'm very happy with that. So I'm gonna get my dryer. My handy dandy. Where'd it go? Where's my dryer? Uh, here it is. Unplugged because I took it in the back and used it somewhere. So let me plug this sweetie back in. Plug, plug. All right, so let's get this dry and we'll move right on. So this is a margarita on the beach, I think, right? All right. We're gonna get this dry and then we're going to paint. Oh, wrong leaf, oh, burn my arm. You don't point the heat gun at your arm. Thank you, Rebecca. Ouchie. Thank you for sprinkling, ladies. I think it's dry. Great. So I think it's dry. Oh, I burned myself on the arm. Yes, so this is our beachy background. <laughs> Margarita on the beach. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that cool for one second. And we're going to want the margarita to be over a little because we going to add that lime. So I want to make sure we have space for the lime. Mm, that looks good, I think, but let's grab our glass. This is just a piece of the other glass, but I want to kind of make sure, yeah, that's going to work. So I'm going to grab some tape from some layer. Thank you for sprinkling. Grab a little piece of tape. And we'll tape this down, or we won't. We'll just let it curl up right here on our hands. Y'all, oh my gosh, May 3rd, I'm gonna be at the beach, and I'm not gonna be thinking about y'all at all. <laughs> That's not true. I'll be worried sick because I've promised the boyfriend that I will unplug and I feel certain I'll be worried sick about whether y'all miss me or not. <laughs> All right, so I am going to very lightly trace my margarita glass. All right, where's my stylus? Here we go. And I'm gonna skip this area here where my lime is because we're gonna figure that out in a minute. So I am just gonna trace my glass. Y'all, we're even gonna put salt on this. Not real salt, so real salt would be cool too. We're gonna use seed beads for our salt, but we're gonna salt that rim. Then I may go have a margarita somewhere. Lee, wanna go have a margarita? All right. Now I, ooh, let's pull this off. I didn't sketch this lime or this lime because I think once I get this done, <laughs> you'll be jealous. I'll be jealous, I'll be jealous of everybody who goes on vacation. Oh, I won't wanna tear that. I wanna make sure that it's healthy for my folks. Um, so we're gonna paint this first and then we're gonna, I'm just gonna freehand the lines and then I'll put those on the tracer for my folks. Okay, so 
First thing I'm gonna do is use white, okay? Because I want this blue out of my glass for the most part, all right? Especially where the margarita's gonna be. <laughs> so, let me see if I can get some white that doesn't have icky stuff in it. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna grab my whites. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of colors on my plate too. I'm gonna scooch this over. I know my plate is icky, but I like to use it. Like I said, I like to use it until it is used up. So we're gonna use it up this weekend. So I'm gonna put a little yellow on my plate. This is Folk Art School Bus Yellow. A little bit of that yellow in the yellow spot on my plate. I already have all the colors. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of green, and this is Hauser Light Green. I feel like I've used this in every art piece uh, lately, but it's a nice spring green. And I think I'm gonna stop there for now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint. Oops, I'm gonna bring that down a little. I wanna paint out, I'm gonna start at the bottom, and I'm gonna paint out my glass, but I want to remember, if I can, that um, where, the, the, where there's no margarita in the glass or at the top rim, it should be a little sheer because like, let's just say, if this was sitting against the wall and you had margarita in it here, We'll give it a little curve there. You would still be able to see the background through that glass if it was a clear glass. So we are going to tackle that part in a minute. We're gonna white it down a little, but we don't want it completely opaque. All right, so I'm gonna do just a little section of stuff at a time. So we're gonna get right about a quarter inch from the top rim of my glass. I'm gonna try to get it straight too so it's not, doesn't look like it's in an earthquake. And we'll come all the way down. Yep, all right, so we're trying to kind of white out that blue background. I think we'll do one more coat, but before we do, I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a watery white, okay? So I want it to be a little bit translucent. I don't want it to um, be totally whited out like this. I want it to, I want to know that you can kinda see the background and need a little more water. You can kind of see that background through the glass. It's kind of like if you picked a glass, a clear glass out of your cupboard and you held it up to a window, you could still see like the trees and stuff through the glass. So you still want to be able to see through it, just not perfectly. Does that make sense? I'm just gonna add a little bit of very translucent white. I didn't mean to get it there, so let me see if I can get that off a little bit. I know, what will you do with yourselves? <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna come up to the very top and do the same thing up here. Just get a little bit of that translucent white just to mute out a little bit of that blue. We don't want it completely gone, just a little muted. Get off there. Right, like that. All right, now we're gonna go back to where the drink is. And we, hey Joanne, thank you for the stars. I'm gonna go back up to where the drink is. I'm gonna hit it again to make sure it has a nice coat of white. And then we're gonna add our margarita mix, right? Because we all know it's not white. So we're gonna add
trying to make sure that blue is gone. Right. So I'm going to offload my brush a little bit and I'm going to grab up some of this yellow. This yellow is a bright, but it's going to mix really well with the green to come up with um, a margarita-esque color. Okay. I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to come right up to my white edge where it's in the glass. We're going to add that margarita to our glass. See how it kind of comes off as that margarita color? Almost, all right. We'll add that. I'm gonna come out on, I want it to be the darkest in the center. And We'll spread a little bit of it over here. We're gonna make it a little bit lighter on that edge. This is kind of like our highlighting. So if we were highlighting, one side would have a little bit of a lighter edge to it, and the other would be darker. So we're gonna do that. And on this side, I'm gonna get, with my dirty brush, still has all that yellow in it. I know, Carol. I'm gonna get some of that green and I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna mix some of the green in with the yellow. Green on that side. We'll come down and around and kind of blend in that green, and then I'm gonna go back into my yellow again and just really give it some of that, oh, nope, my plate won't be steel, it's driving me crazy. Give it some of that yellow brightness right there, right? So that, Look like a, a margarita to you? It needs some ice cubes in there, don't it? I'm gonna actually add just a little bit, just using the tips of my bristles, just a little bit of that yellow color to the stem. So it kind of is reflecting the, kind of reflecting the uh, margarita from the glass. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing, just add a tiny bit of that. I'm gonna get a little white on there. My brush is still dirty. I'm gonna get a little white and just add a smidge of that to the rim. There. All right, so let's get this dry. Now we're gonna be putting glass over the top of this. So if it's not 100% too much mix and not enough tequila. I hear you. That's my, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get this dry and then we're gonna do a little, one more little thing or two to it and then we'll keep going. Strawberry margarita, yum yum. Thank you, Georgia. I didn't want my colors to intermix too much, so I wanted to get that dry. And I think I'm gonna go in and add a little more, not, not that. A little more of the green. Yeah, this is how they make margaritas at the restaurant we go to. It's like a lot of yellow mix, not near enough tequila. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of that green, which kind of represents the shadow. You know, you have dark on one side, light on the other. I'm gonna try to do it my favorite way and just come around that edge with that green. And then I'm gonna grab up 
I'm gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna grab up a little bit of this white. Just get the corner. And I'm gonna make a little bit of a line just right there. It's like the reflection in the glass. If you've seen something that's see-through painted, it always has like that little fraction of light right there. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do a few touches of white. Let me rinse this, I got some green on there. Margarita on the rocks, please. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of the white right on the edge of this glass. I'm futzing more than I probably should because we are putting glass on the top of this, but I can't help it. It's just how I am. Futz, futz, futz. All right, so I'm gonna come down add just a teeny bit of the darker white here on one side and here darker white that's hilarious did i just actually say darker white i meant the proper terminology would be opaque All right, all right, so I wanna do one more here. All right, so we are margarita friendly here. Okay, I am gonna get this dry and hopefully my lime, my lime is not dry, but hopefully the glue will hold that together while we work on that. Thank you for sprinkling the love. So real quick, I'm gonna grab a pencil and I'm gonna put this line right here. So I'm actually gonna trace the inside, hold it still, and then I'm gonna trace the outside. And then we will just sketch that out. I'm gonna trace this real quick onto my piece too so that my members don't fuss at me. Just put that line right there. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is paint this out white. My little lime slice. Uh, let me grab a brush. And we're gonna wipe that out. Then, once we got it covered, I'm just going to get the tiniest amount of green, the Hauser green, on my brush. I'm going to blend it in a little. And we're just going to come in and add that almost not green to our line, because on the inside of a line, it is actually kind of a yellowy green color, if you look. So we're gonna make sure it looks a little authentic so nobody gets mad at me. Nobody will fuss and say, that's not what it looks like. And they say it just like that too, I know it. <laughs> All right, so now we have that little bit of a line just started, okay? So with my still dirty brush, I'm gonna pick up a tiny bit of that green on just the tip corner of my brush, all right? And then I'm gonna go back and forth on my plate to kind of spread that through. And I'm gonna go right around the outside so that we are creating the rind. 
All right, so it's, the rind is obviously green. So we're gonna create that rind. <laughs> I was being a little sassy, wasn't I? A little sassy on this Friday. I aren't used to my sassy Fridays. So there is our rind, all right? Good job. Woohoo! All right, so now the next thing we're going to do, we need, we're gonna use our pen to like really make some good details. But real quick, we are going to, I'm gonna grab some white and a liner brush. And I'm gonna create my sections, okay? Because lines have sections. So we're gonna just start, I'm gonna just do like a little, I need to draw that or it's gonna just turn green. Hang on. Draw the line. Let's try that again. We're gonna do just a line. Don't go into your run, but you're gonna make just a little line. Probably should have angled that more, but we'll work it out. Let's see, hang on. Let's start, let's start in the middle. I'm trying to like figure it out in my head what a sliced line. Now I know a flat slice, what it, that looks like, but here, it's just a half of the flat slice, so that would be kind of right. But we want to start in the middle, because it's the middle. There we go. And then, that's not really the middle, is it? Y'all, what is happening here? Let's erase. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna make the middle. Okay, so this is my middle. Now, let's do it right, Cindy. So let's do a little one. And you want to go to the middle. We'll come over here and we'll go to the edge. And we'll go to the middle again. And there. Law have mercy. Y'all, my brain already went on vacation. You see what happens? <laughs> Monte was good, thank you. And thank you for the sprinkles. So now I'm gonna get this green again, a little bit of green and white. Not like that though, let's don't do that. And I'm just gonna make a few little, you know, like pulp. We'll make a few little pulp lines in our lemon or lime wedge. And then we'll finish out our details with our pen. All right, so this is pretty good. All right, I think I am gonna grab a little bit more green and just hit the edge of this, make it a little bit darker. So it's well-defined. All right, now we gotta do another one. We gotta do another one, y'all. <laughs> okay. So we want to do a line up here. I glued my little thing together, but it didn't work out great. Thank you, Misa. It's still not glued. So I'm going to lay it up here. It did not dry. I don't know why I expected it to, but that's okay. We're going to lay it here and kind of eyeball where our line is. I actually am gonna trace that again. I'm just gonna go right around the edge. I don't want it to be too small or too big, so I wanna make sure it is the size of my glass. All right, and let's move it off again. It's not gonna dry. That was wishful thinking, y'all. All right, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and use white again and wipe this out. But we are going to, oh, I need more white. Thank you, Devin. I'm, it, uh, it's traumatizing me a little bit. I much prefer to drink margaritas than paint them. <laughs> so, okay. So we're gonna do this. 
where it's touching the glass. And then, hang on. I'm gonna go around and around and around. It's hard to visualize in your head. I know. <laughs> you don't even like them? That's fun, Marilyn. Thank you for the stars. I'm gonna paint right up next to my glass because that's lime is sitting on the edge of my glass. And we are doing real life. We would have to paint the line on the inside of the glass too. Let me see if I can figure that out. I'm going to I'm gonna do it halfway, as and that is not exactly what my mom would say, but close. <laughs> okay, so again, we have, we're gonna get a little bit of green at, on our brush, and we're gonna kind of give this a hint of a green color, because the inside is not totally white. It does have a little green hint to it. I'm, I'm, I'm not liking going inside the glass, so I'm gonna fix that. I don't like it, I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it, not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, now what I wanna do is add my rind. So I'm gonna dip into my green just on the corner of my brush. And I know this plate is, I'm, I'm about done with it. I'm gonna go back and forth to blend that green in. And I'm gonna start at one edge of my rind and go all the way around. And when you start to run out of paint, just reload. Did not do a good job. You shouldn't have to reload six times, like me. Just take that darker green that is your run all the way around your glass. Oh, that was excessive. I forgot to do the all clone, but we're gonna work with it. All right, we're gonna stick with that for a minute. But maybe, maybe we won't. All right, let's white that out a little. The details are in the pen, <laughs> right? All right, so Patron, Elizabeth's all about the Patron. So now we're gonna do that thing again, right? We're gonna do, I'm gonna find my center, because the center always has that little white center to it. So we're gonna pretend that that's the center, even though it's kind of off. And I am going to just go out from the center. I need to draw that again. I did it again, y'all. Let's get her dry. Dry line. I'm gonna get a little bit of a finer brush, too. Let me see, a little baby brush. I got a little eye, a little eyelash brush. I call this my eyelash brush because it's the teeniest, tiniest little thing. All right. 
So now I'm gonna go from the center to almost the rind, just where that color starts to change. And we're gonna make ourselves some sections. We'll just do very light, little lines, quarters, sections, whatever you wanna call it. Go right to the center. And go around the outside. All right, then I'm gonna grab some of the white. And I'm gonna make those little pulpy lines. And I know these are kind of hard to see as they should be. But that's kind of what we're doing there. Just giving that lime a little life. All right, now I'm gonna grab up some of that green again on my brush. I'm gonna go right around the outside edge and just give it a little more depth, a little more color. All the way around. And this one's about ready to drink, isn't it? I really want to go into the glass, but I know I'm not sure I can pull it off without seriously thinking about it. So I think I will not. Let's take way more contemplation than I actually have available this day. As I whisper it in, and we'll stop. Okay, so we're gonna get this dry. This is literally all the painting we're gonna do. I know that was a lot. Thank you, Betty. I'm gonna dry this. And we're gonna do some detail. All right, so done painting. Let's move that out of the way before I make a mess. And I'm gonna grab my pen, if I can find it. Again, graphic marker. This one's a 03 because I can't find my five. But use whichever one you have. 03 is just smaller. Oh, that's a five. I think that one's dead. Yeah, that one's dead, I'm throwing it away. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna use this one and we are going to just do some outlining, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my line and I'm gonna make some short strokes on the outside edge of that rind. Then I'm gonna come around the inside, do the same thing. Then all our sections, okay? So, um, on our white lines, I'm gonna go on both sides. And what I mean by that is we got a line and a line, and then line, line. So almost like a wagon wheel. <laughs> it's not a wagon wheel, I promise. And then I'm gonna do a few little, just oval, little circle-y things to emulate where that pulp is. All right, and now we're gonna hit that outside rim of that glass. And the inside, we'll come all the way over, this is where the Lime is touching. Actually went too far with my lime. I can see that now, but we're gonna pretend we didn't. 
How about that? What do you think? Should we pretend we didn't? The lime should have stopped like right there, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. All right, so let's come down. We'll come around to our And I'm gonna make, where I put those white swerves, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the same thing to this line. We're gonna do our outside run, our inside, come across, and we're gonna do sectioned. And some little spots that are I feel like I want to make those whiter. Hang on, let me see. You do. Where I put the black spots, I feel like that needs not to be so dark. So I'm going to come in and right on top of that black spot, I'm going to put a really dark opaque line of pulp. I think that's gonna look better. Hindsight, right? Hindsight? That looks better, don't it? Better? That's why painting is awesome, because you know what? If you do something and then you're like, hmm, that didn't exactly turn out the way I want it, then you could, uh, that's true. Um, if it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want, you can just do what I'm doing and say, okay, we're going to fix that. Let's do something different. I'm much happier with that. Much, much, much. So now I'm gonna grab a little bit of water on here and we're just gonna do this. There we go. That makes it look better. It makes it look more real. And then we'll bring this over. All right, now, now we're talking. <laughs> okay, so this is all the painting, but now we gotta, we gotta add all the cool stuff, right? So we are going to add the glass that I broke. And if you're in the Shattered Circle, I'm gonna pop in a video of me breaking this. It's no fantastic, uh, super informative thing. I just threw my camera up and filmed it while I was breaking it. So this goes one way here. And it's not perfect and I don't mind a bit. And then we have another piece. Worked out, didn't it? Look, you can't see that I made a boo-boo now. <laughs> and another piece. And we have our bottom of our glass. How cool is that? So I'm just gonna lay this out and then um, I'm gonna take it back off. We're gonna put resin. I'm gonna lay this on top of the resin and then we're going to uh, resin over the top. So this will go here for my line. These pieces that are broken, we're gonna put those up here for that line. And then we're going to use some seed beads and we're going to salt the rim with these white, they're actually clear crystal luster seed beads. What do you think about that, All right? So let's mix up some resin. I am literally going to mix um, a half an ounce. That's probably even too much, but we're gonna mix a half an ounce. Oh, it's definitely making me thirsty. Let's mark a quarter ounce and a quarter ounce on our cup. Where be it? 
quarter ounce and quarter ounce. We'll grab some gloves. And we'll get to doing the fun stuff. Yes, you do, Elizabeth. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine, can you see the link to the Sunflower Challenge? I added it in the, uh, when you log on, it says, do you want to add a link? But I never know if it literally actually shows up or not. So let's make some resin. We're going to start with the hardener. So we have hardener, two-part resin, hardener and resin. No alky for you. That's okay too, Becky. This this one we're painting doesn't have alcohol in it either. It's a mocktail. <laughs> so there's our quarter ounce of hardener. And now we're gonna do quarter ounce of resin in the other cup. Whoa, Nelly. Slow down. Thank you, Tepra. I'm gonna grab my little stirrer mechanism that I've been using for my little baby cups. I'm gonna pour the resin into the hardener. Don't see the link, of course, because I tried to post it, so of course it wouldn't post. So I'm just gonna dunk the resin in, or pour, not dunk it. I'm gonna pour the resin into the hardener. It might have been the hardener into the resin. Doesn't really matter which. Just combine them, make sure they're equal parts. And we are gonna stir this for three minutes. Hello, handmade status. So we're gonna stir this for three minutes. And when I say stir, I mean gently, thank you. We're gonna gently, gently mix it together for three minutes. Scrape the sides of your little cup, scrape the bottom, get it all intermixed together. Now while I'm stirring for three minutes, does anybody have any questions? about our sunflower challenge that starts next week. If you haven't joined, I want to know why. Because we're going to have fun without you and you're going to be sad. <laughs> it's $10. And we're going to make the cutest piece of art. I'm going to, sh I'm going to sit it right here beside me while I mix and show you what you're going to be missing. That's what we're going to be making. So we're gonna stir, stir. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't stir. Stir, stir. You know what probably happened, Catherine? When I first um, tried to go live and put, I put that link in, but then it wouldn't turn. So, um, yes, text sunflower to not, yes, thank you, Catherine. Um, it, it wouldn't turn me sideways, and I like to go live sideways because I like to turn the camera down and for you to be able to see um, the whole piece. So uh, it wouldn't let me do it, so I had to go out and come back in, and I bet it didn't post it then. But yeah, all you gotta do is text the word sunflower to 901-519-2923, and we'll send you a link for more information about our challenge. Becky says, is the resin packet pre-mixed with the resin and hardener? They're not pre-mixed. Now, I will show you the resin packet in a minute, but the resin pack is separated by a plastic tube, and uh, you don't wanna take that tube off until you're ready to mix, because once they're mixed, they start becoming hardened, okay? What kind of pen? Uh, it's called Mas Master's Touch is the brand. I get them from Hobby Lobby and it's called a graphic marker and it's black. 
Some are yellow, some are white. So is yours, does yours look like this? It's just a different brand. Hey, Susan. Stir, stir, stir. I have to stir, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. We're all gonna go meet for margaritas after this is over. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine says time's up, so I'm gonna get this out of the way so I don't make a mess. And we are going to, I'm gonna add my glass back to this, but before I do, I am gonna add some of the resin to my piece. Because I want a nice good coverage on the bottom, on the underside of the canvas where the glass is going. So I'm just gonna take my hand and probably need a little more. I was not very generous. Let's get a little more. Ugh. We're gonna spread it and cover the entire top of the canvas. covered really nicely. Everything looks good. And before I add my glass, I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun so that it won't have bubbles under my glass. So I'm gonna take one second to pop some bubbles while my glass is going. And now I'm gonna take my glass and I am going to butter it. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of resin to the side. I'm gonna stick straight down and we'll lay that in. There we go. Now we'll do this one. So we'll put a little bit, let me get this over here. A little bit of resin on that glass. Smear it in. We'll lay that in. Boom. And our stem. Let me get it off the table. Um, this way. Just get a little resin on there. And bottom of the glass. Just dip my finger in. <laughs> and we'll get that in place. And we can wiggle it around if it's not perfect, but I don't even mind it not being perfect. I hate trying to make something perfect. It makes me crazy. Nothing in the God's green earth is perfect. Okay, so now I have my half lime or my quarter lime. I'm just gonna cover this whole thing. Make sure it's nice and covered. And we'll lay that one right there where that lime is. And this one's in bits, okay? This piece is in, this part of the lime is in three different pieces. So I am just gonna do one piece at a time and then we'll section them together. It shouldn't leave marks, Melinda. If you're if it's leaving marks, you're probably um, you're probably not using enough resin. It should not leave marks. It levels out it, it, when it's thick enough. It's it'll self level out. So if it's leaving fingerprint marks, then you probably need a little bit more resin on your piece. All right. Let's squish it in so it is correct. Let's see. Look at there. Oh my goodness, that is so cute, y'all. Okay, I gotta get these gloves off. I think I'm done. Oh, that's got a lot of sticky goo on it. So I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna come and drizzle this 
what's left on the top of my glass bits. And we're gonna drizzle it all the way down here. We want it all to be covered. This is a sticky, messy cup. This is why we wear gloves, y'all. Let me throw that away. And I'm gonna use this. I'm actually gonna grab up, look at that, I got so much resin. I'm gonna grab that silicone piece and use that to spread on the uh, top of the glass chest. So I don't, I can do it really lightly and I won't mess it up. All right. And I can also use it to scooch things around that need scooching. All right, let's move that. Let's scooch you up and let's scooch you back. All right, I think we are pretty good. Let me try that one more time. That is fixed. Now that's not. There we go. I think we're good now. All right, so now I need to, oh my goodness, y'all, look at my hands. I'm a hot mess right now. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna get these gloves off. And we're gonna salt our rim. We're gonna have to do this very carefully and I'm actually gonna, let me grab, I got resin all over my desk too, and I don't want to uh, smear it everywhere. Let me get that up real quick. Blech. Okay, so I have seed beads, and these come from Hobby Lobby, and it's Crystal Luster. This looks like a brand new little pack. So I am going to open that with my little knife. And we are gonna add some salt to the rim because you cannot have a margarita without a salted rim. Thank you, Leona. And ugh, I'm trying to get the top off. Give me a second. Ugh. We're gonna have to do this very carefully because we want a line of salt. We don't want the, the uh, salt to go everywhere, right? So we're gonna do it very carefully, but if it gets out of place, I got a little, this is probably a cat hair. If it gets out of place, we can use my little Lulu pen, my little Lulu stick to uh, sort that out and get them back where they need to be. So I'm gonna start just with the inside rim. And I'm not gonna worry too much about where it goes, because I'm just gonna manipulate it once I get it on there. And then we'll do this side. Voila. All right, just a few little nuggets. And now I can take this pick and just put all that salt where it should go which is on the rim, right? Salt on the rim. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is so cute. Can't wait to show it to you close up. So stinking cute, O-M-G. Okay, let me wipe this off. <laughs> oh my Lord, have mercy. Let me look at it. I should have hit it with the torch again but I didn't, but I'm gonna try to hit it. I see some bubbles at the top. So I'm gonna try to hit it without blowing my bubbles. I mean, my salt off the rim. <laughs> okay. Woo. Great, OMG, y'all, look how cute this is. Ugh. I almost wish I'd made a line there, but it's okay. My glass. Even though I made myself like a vertical table or horizontal table, it kind of looks like it's floating. But look at the salt. Y'all, look at the salt on the rim. Is that not adorable? 
That is so cute. I think we should make um, another one tomorrow, a different flavor. What do you think? <laughs> and look, y'all, the glass is seeded. So it looks like one of those margarita glasses. So look at the lime at the bottom. Super cute. And that lime, super cute. Oh my goodness, y'all. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm dying to do something. Don't kill me now, but want I wanna I don't wanna ruin my hang on. It's bugging me that I forgot to draw my table line. Okay? Bugging me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of black. I'm just gonna put a dot of black on this piece of paper, I think. You know, some things bother me and some things don't. Like, I can be like, eh, I don't care about certain things, but certain things bug me beyond belief. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of black on this piece of paper, and this is a straight edge palette knife. I'm literally going to edge the black. I'm gonna put the, the um, edge of my knife into the black and watch what I did right into my resin look at that I see I can't really do it on the sun easily because of my okay hang on it's just bugging me I'm gonna walk away from that now. Ah, it's not what I wanted, but it's better than it was, and now I can live with it, y'all. Now I can go to sleep at night. <laughs> because my glass looked like it was floating in air. We cannot have that. Cannot have glasses floating in the air. So what do you think? I'm gonna turn this.